guys this is for y'all from scrumptious cakes by fairy and in this video i'm going to show you how to make closed puny with wired petals to make the puny you need um florist wire 20 gauge 20 gauge wire which is quite thick and firm and you also need 28 gauge wire this one we are going to use to insert in the petals and the thicker one we are going to use to make the center bird. Also need polystyrene uh, foam ball. Um, this ball is about four centimeter, say around one and a half inches. You need a ball tool, a rolling pin, cell board, foam pad, wire cutter, nose plier set of puny cutters and the wiener for the puny um, petals because this is gonna give very natural look to the petal glue a brush some flower paste which i have colored with sugar flare pearl ivory color and you also need this plastic file you need some vegetable sharpening and that's it now let's get started so first we will make the center part for the puny the closed bud we need 20 gauge wire cut this with the wire cutter now I need a nose plier so take the end Hold it in the nose plier like this and just turn it to make it like a hook. We need to close it a bit more like this. We have to take our polystyrene ball and what you need to do is you need to insert this hook into the center like this but right now it's not um, stable because that wire can come out so what you need to do is you take the hot glue gun or any strong glue you just put a dollop of the glue here and let it dry so it won't move it like this I have I have one already made here this one you can see the glue bit here and it's quite strong I can't move this so let's keep this bud aside from this petal cutters I'm going to use this small one first we need about three petals from this size Hold your gum paste thin. Should not be too thick. Thick, that is it. It's quite thin. I could see the writing. I don't know if you can see, but I can see the lines on my mat. So, this thick it should be. Now I'm going to cut about three of the small petals one two and three and the next size up we are going to use four we have got three of the smaller size and four of the second smallest i will be using a styrofoam dummy to help me with putting on the petals that will make my work much easier so let's put that aside take the plastic file we are not going to use the second smallest 
quickly so in the meantime we will leave it in between this folder and it will keep it fresh and soft so for this one I'm going to take my thinner and I'm going to put it in the middle and push it with the top part of the silicone mold and it gives a nice natural look of the peony petals I have to vein all of the petals including the neck size up I'm going to take my foam board and the ball tool and I'm going to thin the petals down so what you have to do is you need to make sure half of the ball tool is on the pad and half of it on the metal um, sorry not metal petal um, and you just go around thinning the edges it will curl them up a bit it will give them a little movement so just around the edges like this Now I'm going to take the foam bud and put some glue on the top half. We don't have to do the bottom at the moment, so just the top part will do. Now put that on a foam or something stable. Take your petals, put it on the top like this to cover half the way up and it should cover the top half and where you see we need to make them overlap so I'm pushing the other petal into that, um, what do you say, a cut in the middle of this petal here, so I'm going to push that in here as well like this as you can see they are all three overlapping each other and I stick the rest of the petals to the foam ball you can just hold it in hand and do this but it's much easier if you put the thing on something stable and you keep working on it so that is how it's done now let's put this aside and take the next row of the petals okay so I have um, veined and thinned down the edges of the next row of the petals now I'm going to take my foam dummy and I'm going to put some glue. This time I'm going to do till the bottom. So you see um, the gap here, I'm going to start from here. Like this. I'm not sticking them till the end at the moment because I might need to move them a bit and once they are stick it's hard to you know get them off make sure some of them are overlapping okay like this this one is going to overlap like this so now for the top part you can arrange the way you want
there is no right or wrong in this because they're they're not in a uniform look anyway so it gives more natural look so turn it down and push the ends make sure they stick to the ball properly and that's the part we have now we're gonna put another layer of the petals the same size so we're gonna let this one dry a bit before we start in the next layer okay so for the next row of the petals we need the same size which is the second number of the cutter um, about five petals you need to do the same with these as well um, waning and thinning down the saw and thinning down the edges now take your bud take the glue and put the glue now I need to take the petals and where there is a joint between two petals just put the petal over there like this then the next petal like this the next petal making sure they are overlapping each other that's the last petal I'm going to put now and so that's that's how is the center of the puny you don't have to stick it all the way just make sure you stick the bottom very well like this so here is your puny bud leave it on the cake dummy to let it dry completely it might take overnight it might take a day so now you need to take 28 gauge wire which we're going to use to put inside the petals and I am going to cut this wire about three and a half inches size which is going to give me four wires from this one strand like this just put this aside i'm going to use my cell board now take some tracks i'm going to use this vein so take some flower paste knead well now Push it on to the cell board. Take the rolling pin, roll it over, peel it away, and now you can see we have a thick vein in the middle. Now I'm going to use. The third size, which is which is one smaller than the largest, and just cut cut about five petals like this from this size. 
in the plastic file until you use them for weaning and putting the wire in. So you need about five of those. If you want a thicker to give thicker look to the puny means you want to make it look bigger um, then you can add another layer of six petals of the same size before you add the largest it's totally up to you how big you want it to be so now I'm going to take the largest of the petal cutter and make sure it's the right center like this you need to cut about six to seven petals of these keep one thing in mind you need to cut more petals than you need it like if you need five petals make sure you cut may you make about seven if you need seven make sure you have two spares or one spare because um, while you attach them to the bud and taping them some of them might break so take the petal take the wires you have cut Take the glue, dip that in the glue, remove the excess, the glue like this, hold the petal, that vein bit you need to hold between your middle finger and the thumb and you need to push the wire into that. While you push the wire in, you can feel between your fingers where the wire is going make sure it's not coming out just work slowly it might need a bit of practice but you will do it you need to go half the way up just pinch the end of the petal to make sure that the flower paste sticks to the wire take the wiener so that part I like to take it at the back rather than having it on the front you just put it like this and gently press and here you have we are going to thin the edges down of this one as well as we did earlier with the smaller petals you just need to go around the edges like this it just gives a bit of movement to the petals and give them very natural look okay so here is my apple tray that's the very economical way to dry your petals just go to the supermarket or a fruit seller and ask for the apple tray and he should be they should be able to provide you one of these I got it from my local supermarket Sainsbury's and I got it for free so you just take the petal and just pop it on to one of those cavities like this if you want you can give a bit of a movement the petal and that's it you need to let it dry we're gonna do the same with the other size hello so I'm back my petals have been drying for two days they are completely hard as you can see now I'm going to dust them with some flower dust uh, I'm just going to take this color which is roll cum buttercup it's kind of like a pale yellow color I need a brush I'm just going to take some dust on the tissue um, on a paper towel actually and just tap it down to remove 
the excess um, powder from the brush take the petal in your hand like this and just gently stroke it in a different direction I usually do where it's deep So that's how you need to brush it with the petal dust. You can use any color you want. So here I have all of my petals dusted with the flower dust. Here is my bud. I dusted some um, flower dust like here, this part, to give the depth the bud and now you need the florist tape so you just take about yeah, this much not too big now you take the bud you may keep on taking the small petals so we're gonna start with the small one so you just Put your finger around the end part of the petal. Just gently move the wire down. First stretch the tape to activate its stickiness. And just start wrapping it around the flower wire. I mean the flower bud. few times and that's it now I'm going to take my petal and I'm going to attach the petal like this from the top it should look like this and from the bottom I will take my wire on its place and Like this I will hold it tight and wrap my wire around like this so just make two rounds to make sure it's sticking well now I'm going to take the next petal and I'm going to do the same with this so this one slightly overlapping the other one like this and just tape tightly now take the next petal add to the bird Like this and keep taping it so that's how you're gonna keep adding all the petals Once you have added all five petals, just arrange them the way you want. There will be another set of petals coming. So after adding the, the six petals, the second layer of the petals, um, now I'm going to add the last layer of petals which is going to be about seven to eight petals 
um, this is the larger one if you want it's still big enough you you can leave it at this stage as it is but I want to make it bigger so I'm going to add another layer of my petals larger ones I'm just going to attach a strip of tape again like this now I'm going to take the petals and I'm going to attach the same way we did the rest like this make sure you wrap the tape very tightly So what I do, I see the top bit first where I need to attach and then I'll look down the bottom to adjust the wire. Like this. I have attached about six petals now I'm going to attach this last seventh petal here So here we have our puny. I'm just going to arrange some petals like this to see which way works best for them. Here is the puny. Like how big it is. So once you have done this just turn it upside down on a foam pad take some more tape and cover all of this wire Just keep on wrapping it tightly. Going downwards like this. So if you can see, I'm just rolling it on an angle. It's easier if you turn it upside down and just wrap it tightly once you reach the end if you have more tape left you can go back upwards the same way And here is your wired puny. I hope you like this tutorial. If you liked it, then please leave a thumbs up. Um, or if you have any question, you can leave in the comments down below. And I will be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.